Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow from the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor, board certified in physical medicine and rehabilitation. He teaches about the use of prolotherapy, PRP, and stem cells. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Dr. Nita Valens. Well, hi there, Dr. Darrow. Hello, Nita Valens. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm living it up. Well, how about this? How about if our listeners were all living it up? Is that a good idea? I think we can help them. Okay. Well, we can, because this program is about musculoskeletal pain, and that would include joint pain, ligament pain, tendon pain, disc pain, back, neck, or knee pain, hip pain, arthritis pain, any kind of stiff joints or dull aches you may be experiencing, basically, basically orthopedic pain. Wow, I can't even talk today. Basically, orthopedic pain. Maybe and when you need you... to see an orthodontist. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> basically, make sure I slept okay and my teeth are in place. So when you call the program today, I have great news for you. You get Dr. Darrow's book for free. It's his latest called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. It has 264 scientific studies. And you can call us all hour at 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752 right here at the station. And you can speak directly with Dr. Darrow. And check the website out at www.lastemcells.com. That's www.lastemcells.com. You can email Dr. Darrow off of every page on the site and see him performing the treatments on videos. And we are here Saturdays at 10 a.m. and again at 1 p.m. So if you miss part of the show, you can hear us again at 1 p.m. And the number to call one more time, 866-870-5752. Give us a call. We love your calls. And we know that millions of Americans are in chronic musculoskeletal pain. That's what the research says. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's more than that. And it um, seems just about everybody that I hang out with has pain somewhere. It's fun. I played golf yesterday, and um, everybody I was playing with was miserable. <laughs> it's so oh, amazing. no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, golf is a very repetitive sport, and although a lot of people say golf's not a sport, it's a game. Well, go out and play it and hit the ball, you know, swing a club at 100 miles an hour and see how you do after repetitive swinging. Everybody I know seems to get sore somewhere or other from the neck, which we treat with stem cells and platelets, all the way down the back to lower back, to the shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, hips, knees, ankles, and toes. And yeah, golf can do that to you. I know it is amazing. <laughs> it is. It's amazing because you just think of it as a walk in the park. But um, people have a lot of issues playing golf. And uh, hopefully, if you are one of them, you can come in and visit me. And uh, we can help you heal up using what we call regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine is a very simple procedure. You walk in, you get your blood drawn or your bone marrow if you want to do stem cells, and um, you walk out a few minutes later. The procedure takes, uh, with everything involved, under an hour. And um, if you do bone marrow, believe it or not, once I have the area numbed up on the back of the pelvis, to get the bone marrow aspirate out of the bone takes me about uh, less than 15 seconds. So it's very quick, basically pain-free, and very easy to do. PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, is similarly easy to do. It's just a blood draw, then we spin your blood. And then we just inject that into the body part that's causing you the pain. Now, believe it or not, that is also used on the face 
to regrow the collagen on faces to make people look prettier and rejuvenate their face just like it does in the musculoskeletal system. It also works on the top of the head to grow hair. So if any of you are uh, thinning out, male or female, we can generally help uh, grow back the hair. We check the hormones when it comes to hair loss and make sure that uh, you have all the proper nutrients for that. So go ahead. Nita. You uh, want to I was take just going to say we could pick up Jan, Jan and Mantra Mantras. Okay, Jan, Dr. Mark Darrow, how are you today? Hello, thank you for taking my call, and I listen to you faithfully every Saturday, and I've learned thank so you. much. And, uh, thank I, you, thank I you. I have a problem. Uh, I, first of all, I have to go back to uh, the 90s, 91 or 92, when I was living in New York, dragged down the street, uh, mugging, and I experienced... Uh, terrible pain in my knee. I went to two orthopedists. They wanted to operate, but I'm not one for operations, and it healed itself. P.S. November 11th, I, I had terrible pain. I couldn't move. My It felt like there was a vice on my knee, so I was taken to emergency. I spent four days in the hospital while they reviewed me. They said I had uh, pseudogout crystals, arthritis, yeah. and um, I left the hospital on the fourth day to go to my orthopedist, and he gave me a cortisone shot, and I was up and walking that afternoon. And so okay. he said, just resume your schedule. I'm a swimmer, and uh, I do a lot of exercise all my life, and so I resumed my schedule. But December 8th, I had another attack. Not as bad, but um, because that's what they said in the hospital, because I had uh, baker cysts, that the baker yeah. cysts had exploded. And okay. uh, so so then I went, I had to go to emergency again, uh, and all the, they didn't, didn't give me a shot, but they did the ultrasound at, for, for clots. Sent me home, and I'd been icing. No, so then a week later, I went to the orthopedist, he gave me another cortisone shot. He drained, and it was my daughter was in the room with me, and he drained this dark maroon blood from my yes. knee. And uh, I was bruised, you know, where that injection was. But I, I'm very conscious of my diet. I'm not one. Oh, so he said then I, I needed a knee replacement. And okay. I asked him about PRPs, and he said, no, they don't work. Okay. So, <laughs> with you in mind, and uh, how you believe and what you do, and the distinction between PRP and uh, surgery, uh, okay. I, I, I want to know if I am a candidate. I've been very faithful for 10 days. I have not, because then he told me, don't swim and don't walk. Okay. That, that sounds like me. fun, huh? <laughs> so let I, me let me I, speak for a little bit. You've we've got a big story sure. here on you. I could spend the whole show just talking about you, <laughs> but let me just kind of <laughs> cut to the chase here. So okay. you know, initially, when you were mugged back in ninety one and ninety two, um, the orthopedic surgeon thought you ought to have surgery. You didn't do it. And your knee is, was okay for quite a many quite a long time. Many, many, yeah. many, many years. And then in November, you spent four days in the hospital, and you had um, pseudogout. That's crystals. It's very much like gout. Uh, the crystals are different, but it's similar type of destruction of the cartilage, potentially. And you had a cortisone shot. Well, to me, that's a cop-out shot. When I say a cop-out mm. shot, it makes you feel good for a short while. But in the meantime, it's also destroying the cartilage, just like the pseudogout is. So mm -hmm. what is the point of that? If you plan on having a knee replacement, who cares? Get 100 of, of those cortisone shots because it's going to destroy your knee, but your knee is going to be amputated anyway. So who cares about the destruction, okay? So you mm -hmm. had a few more cortisone shots along the way, and none of that is good for your knee. 
Um, of course, the orthopedic surgeons are thinking you're going to need a knee replacement, so they don't care about destroying the cartilage. But there's many people that don't need knee replacements who are getting cortisone shots in their knees. So what mm -hmm. does that do? It just makes it worse, and uh, you win the battle and lose the long-term war. So stay away from that. Baker cyst that you had and that ruptured is typically fluid from the front of the knee where there's nowhere to go, and it goes into the back of the knee. Okay, that's the path of yeah. least resistance. And um, we drain those all the time when we're treating the front of the knee. Just treating the cyst alone and aspirating it does nothing at all, okay, because it'll come back. Um, so you had cortisone there again after the aspiration, the aspirated blood. Yeah, when a cyst ruptures, there is pressure on the rest of the upper calf area, and it can cause some bleeding there. And it was bruised at the injection site. I don't know why that would have been, because if the doctor who injected you used an ultrasound, he wouldn't have had to be digging around. He can see the spot where the fluid is or where he wants to put uh, what he injects. And um, it's extremely <laughs> rare to get a bruise unless you don't have an ultrasound. So but I had an ultrasound the, in the hospital. I get that, but it's got to be used with the injection. You need an ultrasound to guide the needle. Oh. Don't ever have a knee injection without the ultrasound showing the doctor where that needle needs to go. Well, they had the ultrasound up on his computer screen, but since I was lying down, I didn't. I don't know if they were looking. You know, okay, well, that's me. irrelevant. My point, bottom line, is don't ever get... A, knee, a shot in the knee or the shoulder or the hip where the ultrasound is not guiding the needle. You can see that probe right above where the needle is. And that way the doctor okay. can see where the joint is, the joint capsule, and put that needle right on that pinpoint spot. Many years okay. ago, before we were using ultrasound, all of us regenerative medicine doctors would meet at our annual meetings and workshops and we'd always ponder, why don't hips heal? How come everything else heals, but hips don't? Because we weren't getting the solution of the healing cells into the hip joint. We were uh -huh. imagining that. Now hips heal just like everything else. Okay. And then the last yep. statement that your doctor made, PRP doesn't work. Well, that's a lot of hoo-ha because uh, I've got a book called Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy Regenerate, Don't Operate, that's got a couple hundred studies about how regenerative medicine does heal and how it does grow cartilage. So someone who says it doesn't work is someone who doesn't do it. Now, you don't go to an orthopedic surgeon to ask about PRP or ask about stem cells, just like you don't come to me to have knee surgery or shoulder surgery or neck surgery. I'm not the guy to do it. But I have to also say I cannot remember the last time I had to refer one of my patients for a surgery. Now, I know some of them have left me and gone and gotten a surgery behind my back because they think it's the easy way out. And unfortunately, I have so many new patients who come in who have had a surgery that failed, and I know it's not the easy way out. And I'm one of those people. When I was in med school, before I knew about regenerative medicine, I hurt my right shoulder weightlifting, and... Um, I asked my boss, my orthopedic surgeon professor, to operate on my shoulder, and he did, and it came out terrible. It wasn't his fault, I'm sure. I'm sure he did a great job. But too many of these surgeries, probably half of them fail. So uh, there's even a diagnostic code with insurance companies that say failed back surgery, failed sh shoulder surgery, whatever it is. That shows that too many of these surgeries fail. So please, if any of you folks listening are thinking of getting a surgery because it's a quick way out of your pain, think twice. It's not. No, I won't surgery. Do it. No. So the answer for you, Jan, is if you want to come in to see me, I'll assess your knee. The fact that you're already swimming and being active means we can help you. And uh, most people that I work on, he most people that I work on heal up. Most There's two reasons people don't. There's actually three reasons people don't heal. It's either taking anti-inflammatory medicine, and uh, it blocks the inflammation we need for the healing, or 
they're sneaking around behind my back continuing the exercises they did or the activity they did um, and not letting it rest, okay? Yes. That's yes. called cheating on the doctor, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, can I ask you one question? What do you think about... Well, let me finish. I don't. You don't let me finish okay. stuff. <laughs> I said there were three reasons. The oh, third okay. reason is they don't get enough treatment. They do it once or twice and go, it didn't work. Sometimes it takes a few treatments. The first time that I discovered this on myself, and no one was teaching me how to do this, by the way. I had to experiment on my body. I was the guinea pig. The first time on my shoulder after my failed shoulder surgery, I did it one time. I was healed the very next morning, completely 100%, full range of motion, and pain-free. And that lasted for 12 years. I was very, very happy. I re-injured it again playing tennis, overdoing it as I always do with every sport. And it took me two treatments that time. Years later, I re-injured it again from hitting golf balls incessantly. And that time it took me a few months of treatments to heal it up. Okay? I'm good now. But sometimes we can't we can't know the future with people in healing. So I know, I know. we're we're going to have to go on, Jan. I know that that you've got a gazillion <laughs> questions, and the way we're going to handle you is go to my website, please, and you can email me from there. The website is www.lastemcells.com. I really appreciate you calling in and go to the website www.lastemcells.com. Email me, and we'll get a hold of you. And then you can go through all your other concerns. Does anything besides your knee bother you? No, but I just want to tell you, I'm 85 years old, and I, I just want to know that I'm still healthy enough because I've taken care of my body. I never took my med- medication. I don't like medication or supplements, and I just want to, you know, just I listen to you, and I believe in you, and I want, I told my daughter, I want to go to Dr. Darrow. He knows what he's talking about. And he's not one well, I, I I hope I know what I'm talking about. I've been doing this over 20 <laughs> years. This is all I do, yeah. and I've injected <laughs> I've injected both my knees, both my shoulders, both my elbows, my right wrist, because I can't see my neck and back, which I've injured many times. I have uh, when I go to meetings um, with other guys who do this regenerative medicine work. I have them do it for me. So it's it's really kind of fun when we do our have our meetings. It's educational, but a lot of us go to the meetings because we find other experts there that can work on us, so we trade off and inject each other. Anyway, God bless you, Jan. Thank you so much, Jan. You've got a great story, and um, I can't wait to meet you. Thank you so much, Jan. We appreciate your call. And you can call us right here at the station at 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. And again, the website is www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. You can email Dr. Duro off of every page on the site and watch him performing the treatments on videos. Very exciting stuff. And we are here Saturdays at 10 a.m. again at 1 p.m. And remember, you get the free book. Dr. Darrow mentioned it a while ago, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. That's Dr.'s latest book, and you get it for free when you call the show. It actually has, Dr. Darrow, 264 scientific studies, more than a couple on And Just saying. a forward by my favorite woman, other than my wife, Suzanne, Suzanne Summers. Summers. <laughs> She's been a real um, courageous person. She's helped all of us in medicine who are um, <coughs> not doing surgery and giving drugs. So well, that's she's an right. amazing person. And, and you have uh, something else going on in the office, too. Very exciting. The vampire. Well, I already mentioned we do the vampire facelift, which is similar to what I do, what I do for the musculoskeletal system of injecting platelets and stem cells um, you know, in the joints, tendons, ligaments muscles, whatever. I've injected all over the body to the top of the head, really, to the bottom of the feet. And um, the vampire facelift is injecting the same cells into the face to regrow the collagen in the face and make people look young. 
So that's great. And then we can do hair regeneration by injecting the same cells on the top of the head. So I'm looking for your calls. Please give us a call right now at the studio, 866-870-5752. I'll repeat it while you grab your pen. That's 866-870-5752. And for those of you that want, those of you that want to get a hold of me at the office, the office phone number is 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. We have people by the phones if you want to call right now. And um, while we're waiting for calls, I have an email that just came in that I'd like to take, if you don't mind, Nita. Good with you? Sounds good to me. Okay. So it says neck-shoulder. Um It mentions someone, okay, so it mentions, it's about somebody else. Uh, So-and-so has been suffering pain in her left side, neck, shoulder, and arm areas. Pain has now become severe. She has been seen by a hospital doctor. appears that their medical treatments with multiple drugs are not working. Duh. We are seeking advice and treatment and are open to an appointment with Dr. Darrow at any time. Thank you. So, Number one, the most important thing in treatment is figuring out where the pain generator is. I get new patients in the office every single day who come in with the wrong diagnosis. Why is that? Most doctors do not do a very good examination. They're very interested in looking at MRIs, CT scans, x-rays, and then deciding what's wrong with the person. And that's not a way to diagnose. The way to diagnose is by using your hands. You've got to press on the area. You've got to know generally where pain comes from. And putting all of that together, you can figure out where to treat the area. But most doctors don't know how to treat. That's the problem. They're going to use drugs or surgery. And um, what good does that do? Not really a whole lot. So what we do is we examine the person, we move them around, and then I find the pain generator, and then voila, we can inject the area with PRP, which is platelets that we take from the blood, just a simple blood draw, or bone marrow we can take very, very simply. It takes uh, 15 seconds, and um, then we can put that in the area and grow back the tissue. So lots of people come in with... um, tears of the meniscus, rotator cuff, Um, they've got herniated discs, they've got all these terrible diagnoses, but that's not even their problem. So when I can find the pain generator, we can then inject it and hopefully eradicate or at least diminish the pain. And when I say eradicate or diminish, that often is up to the patient. It depends how many treatments they're willing to get. I've had people with the worst arthritic knees I have ever seen who continue treatment until they get better. They're told they need a knee replacement, shoulder replacement, hip replacement, whatever it is, and they decide not to do it. And they come in until they feel better. What does better mean? It's subjective. I don't have the answer for that one. Um, What feels good to one person feels terrible to another. So people come in, they say, how many treatments? I never know for anyone what's going to give them their satisfaction. It's different. Well, our number is 866-870-5752 here at the station. And you can call and speak to Dr. Darrow directly. You can go to the website and see lots of research and see Dr. Darrow performing the treatments on videos at www.lastemcells.com. That's lastemcells.com. And if you're ready to call the office, you've been listening for a long time, and you want to just make your appointment right now, you can call anytime at 800 300 9300. That's 800 300 9300. 
So let me go to another question here because this one's a little bit complex. Uh, hold we'll that thought. We'll get to it after hold that thought. the break. <laughs> we are at Stick the break. Stick with us, folks. <laughs> You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Grab a pen or a pencil. Write down this important information coming your way. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. Dr. Darrow's practice is located at the Darrow Stem Cell Institute in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, Call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. Whether you have pain in your back or joints, surgery may not be the answer. Instead of the dangers involved in cutting out tissue, consider healing and rejuvenating the area with stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. The treatments that are available to professional athletes are now available for you. Watch the videos at jointrehab.com or call the Darrow Wellness Institute at 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. 